Hello and welcome to the Asphalt Play. Let's see the different types and ways to capture carbon. Growing trees and creating a forest is the best, easy and the most natural way to tackle excess carbon in the atmosphere. Trees absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and water from the soil to create food with the help of sun's rays. Food in the form of sugars is consumed by the trees for growth and development and excess sugars are stored in the trunk and leaves for later use. Oxygen is released into the atmosphere as a byproduct. This process is called as photosynthesis. As forests have the ability to absorb more carbon than they release, they are called as carbon sinks. However, there are other factors that can affect the amount of carbon stored in a forest. For example, deforestation can release the stored carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Forest fires can release the stored carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. And when a tree dies, it decays and releases carbon dioxide back into the air. So, it is absolutely necessary to plant more trees and stop deforestation. Saline aquifers are geological formations consisting of water permeable rocks that are saturated with salty water. In this method, pressurized carbon dioxide is injected deep inside the ocean floor into a saline aquifer where carbon may either dissolve in the brine, react with the dissolved minerals or surrounding rocks and become trapped in the pore space of the aquifer. Carbon mineralization is a chemical reaction that can convert carbon dioxide into solid minerals like carbonates by exposing carbon to certain rocks. This process can permanently remove carbon from the atmosphere and is a natural process that can happen over hundreds and thousands of years. Carbon mineralization works best with mafic or ultramafic rocks as these rocks are highly reactive to carbon dioxide. Carbon from factories and industries can be pumped deep inside the earth's surface into geological formations which contain mafic or ultramafic rocks. As these rocks are rich in alkaline minerals like calcium and magnesium, they can react with carbon to form carbonates. Direct air capture is a method that uses air filters to capture carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere at any given location. The captured CO2 can be permanently stored underground in geological formations or can be used to make products like beverages, chemicals and synthetic aviation fuels. Carbon capture and storage is a process that involves capturing, transporting and storing carbon dioxide emissions. CO2 can be captured from various industries and transported to a different location to store them permanently. Enhanced rock weathering is a natural process that can remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by accelerating the natural chemical breakdown of rocks. In this method, rock dust and particles are spread on the land. When atmospheric air and rainwater mixes with the rock particles and dust, the carbon dioxide in the water and the air is absorbed and converted into minerals. These minerals are later released into the soil. Thanks for watching BS1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Buy that subscribe right here, right now. Don't forget to press the bell icon. The choice is yours. BS1 Play.